All right, all right. All right. Hello, New York. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Ledger Open. I am Arielle Wengroff. I run communications at Ledger, which really means how we come to life, how we communicate with people and educate. I'm very happy to be here again with my co-host. Hi, my name is Carl Anderson. I'm the VP Engineering at Ledger, and I'm responsible for the tech teams building on consumer products. We are thrilled to have you here today. Why? I mean, first, as a New Yorker, having all of the Parisians in New York feels like a good opportunity to have them on my own turf. But also, for those of you who don't know, Ledger Open is actually our biannual conference where we give product updates, talk about what's being built through our developer portal and platform, our NFT support initiatives and services, and all of the incredible work we're doing to help keep Web3 secure, keep you secure, make sure you don't get wrecked, screwed, anything like that. <laughs> so you're in the room, that's amazing. That. Yeah, we're also broadcasting on Twitter, so if you follow Ledger, you can watch live. We have watch parties in actually over nine countries, our folks in our office in France. It's really exciting, and we have a lot of announcements coming this morning, and then our panels this afternoon. So, Carl, do you want to let us know a little Absolutely. more? Absolutely. All right. right. Um, so, as you said, we got a packed agenda this morning, lots of announcements for users, for companies, but also for developers. Because uh, let's not forget that the product that we build is also a platform for everyone to contribute and help us shape the future. Um, before we dive into the what and you know, what we've built and what we've been up to in the last six months, I really want to take a moment to talk about the why and the how, because that's just as important. And what's core to all our innovation and all our products is self-custody, not your keys, not your coins, right? And I think we're all familiar with this sentence, uh, but I think it has never been more relevant than right now. With exchanges and platform actually freezing or limiting assets and withdrawals uh, this week is just like, it's terrible, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's not a bad time. <laughs> but it's a good time if you have a ledger, so. Self-custody, that is the thing, right? So don't, don't be at the mercy of third parties. Own your keys, own your coins, make self-custody your choice. And it's really the core principle to all of our products. So that's number one. Number two, obviously, with self-custody comes security. Without security, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna work. And uh, Web2 technology just doesn't cut it for users, for enterprises. And that's why later today we're gonna have Ian Rogers, our CXO, which will talk about innovation for, for end users. We're also gonna have Alexander, uh, VP Ledger Enterprise, talk about what we're doing to get that security at scale um, and to protect your digital assets. Now, security, yes. But it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be at the expense of convenience and ease of use. And this is the tough challenge that we always have to balance. And we've done a lot in the last six months uh, in the convenience space. And for those of you that were at Permissionless with us, uh, you've heard Charles Hamill of VP Product talk about Ledger Connect and how we can help bridge the gap. Uh, and we're going to talk a lot more about that today as well. And then lastly, I think the fourth principle uh, that is really dear to our heart is privacy. Um, we gave up on privacy in Web 2. We have an opportunity with Web 3 to make it happen. And we're going to have Charles Guimet, our CTO, share his thoughts about this today. So I think the frame is set. Frame right? is set. I'm Self excited. Self-custody, security, yeah. convenience, Let's get into privacy. It. Those yeah. are our key pr principles for today. Yeah. And I'm going to stop talking now. But and without further ado, I want to welcome on stage our CEO, Pascal Gauthier. Thank you, Carl. Bonjour, tout le monde. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. This is always a very humbling experience. I love to see a room full. Uh, we are a few hundreds here. Uh, there are uh, a few thousand online uh, watching this, so it's big for us. And so thank you for being here. Um, I'm here to tell you to kick off the day and to tell you about Ledger and to tell you about Ledger Open. What is Ledger Open? Ledger Open is a developers conference. Who's a developer in this room? Okay. And so this is a special Ledger Open conference because we wrap this up around NYC NFT and we're here to make announcements about our NFT strategy. So this is a special edition of Ledger Open. Last Ledger Open was in December in Paris. And for me, it felt like last Ledger Open was a year ago, but Ari corrected me to tell me it was only six months ago. So I was starting to get crazy about like, what have we done in a year? But actually, we've done a lot in six months. Ian will tell you all about it just after. 
Um, so Ledger Open is a, is, a, is a developer's conference, and why is this important? Ledger is an open platform. We build a security platform so you don't have to do it, and so you can build experiences on top of the platform. The mission at Ledger has never changed. We need to make things secure, but easy to use. That's our mission, and this is the mission, the same mission that we have since the inception of the company. And building Ledger as an open platform is a way for us to fulfill that mission with the help of developers everywhere in the world. Every web revolution starts with hardware. If you think about Web 1, it was personal computer. Web 2 was your iPhone. Web 3 will be your ledger. As simple as that. So we do the hard work of building the hardware at scale, which is very difficult, so you guys can build experiences on top. And together, we deliver products to the market and products to the user. Um, our mission, again, has always been the same. You, we need to secure and make critical digital assets easy to use. This is a definition, critical digital asset that we did in 2017. We didn't know that NFT would exist, but we knew that there was more than Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin was king, Ethereum was queen, but we were going to witness the tokenization of the world. And you know, NFT is a phenomenon that really exploded last year. And you know, I had a question about NFT in Hong Kong, I think in, uh, I think it was like 2019 when someone asked me like, what do you think about NFT? And I was so, so fucking dry, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, and so last year was really the moment for, for NFT. And so at Ledger, we worked hard to make NFTs first class citizen uh, in our tech stack. And so we're not here to make announcements of what we're thinking about doing with NFTs in two years. We're gonna tell you what we've done for NFT and for NFT communities and what more we're going to do and big announcements today uh, to come. You understand, we believe in Web3. We believe in the revolution of Web3. We don't care that this is a bear market. Ledger has been through many bear markets before, and it's okay, we're here, we don't change. We go, we build for the long run. This is why we're here, and we're very happy that you're here with us. Um, let me give you a few stats, because all of this uh, is always um, quite conceptual, but at Ledger, we're also very data-driven. So 20% of all crypto assets are secure by Ledger today. This is a big, big number. I'll tell you a little stat, little fun facts about NFT specifically, and we're gonna share a lot of stats about NFTs later on, but this is get even crazier with NFT. But 20% of all crypto assets, 800 employees, we sold 5 million hardware wallets, we operate from seven locations. We have in the company close to 500 developers, so we are a tech-heavy company. We develop hardware, firmware, software. We are the only company in the world to do this today. We're the only company in the world to do this today. We have the best kept secret in the industry, which is our enterprise division that AZ will present later. This is the best kept secret in the industry. We already have 100 customers that are running on it. This is the best security and governance platform for businesses in the market, period. At scale, the best and only. And fun fact, we ship products in every country in the world. If you think about a country, we're shipping there. Pick one. <laughs> um, stats about Ledger Open, because again, this is about developers. The last six blockchains, uh, last one was Cardano, ADA, uh, to be, uh, that we released last week. Last six blockchains have been developed by external teams. Like we don't do anything anymore. External teams are working, building apps. We validate, we check the security, and then we publish. Last six blockchain integrations were done by external teams. 200 plus tokens have been added. We roughly have like 3,000 developers that are working on the platform today. 5,000 visits uh, the platform every month. And we've integrated 150 uh, dApps already on the platform. And so Ledger is really turning into a platform. Now, to put things in perspective, uh, the Apple App Store has 20 million developers. So this is minuscule, and so we need to grow. And Web3 needs to grow a lot more, and I, we hope to be that platform. Apple is the platform for Web2, Ledger will be the platform for Web3. The stats on NFTs are crazy. Uh, and this is just like, you know, fun facts. On OpenSea, 30% of OpenSea volume involves a Ledger on the sending, receiving end, or both. On the 100 top transactions, 45 on OpenSea, 45 top transactions in terms of price, 
45 uh, come or go to a ledger. So OpenSea security is ledger, and they don't even know it. We're just doing it, and this is great. So more stats to come, to come on NFT. You'll see it's a... Uh, uh, NFT was, it was, a, it was always going to be a love story with Ledger, and you will see it in today's presentation. All right, so where are we going with this? Uh, we are doing things that nobody does in the markets, okay? So our approach is always multi-chain. Users shouldn't care about technology. The wrong approach is to have a technology approach to a problem. Developers build the tech, build, but, but business and product build the product. And users care about the product. They don't care about the technology. So they don't care about the blockchain. If I want an NFT, I want an NFT. I don't care whether it runs on Ethereum, on Solana, on Tezos, on whatever. So this is an omni-chain approach. It's actually very hard to do at scale to support all these chains. Very hard to do at scale when users access the blockchains directly. We're in a very few company to do this in the world. Again, we have many best kept secrets, but one of them is we probably have the biggest infrastructure to support blockchain technologies in the world. This is how we run Ledger. Uh, we support already Ethereum and Polygon, and Solar and Tezos are coming fast. And so NFT at Ledger is NFT. What's under is not the user problem. We're building a product. The second thing that we bring into the market, and we're the only one to do this, is clear signing. Let me repeat. We are the only company that does clear signing for NFT in the world. And you see on the slide that we're sending Bitcoin. So you're like, okay, dude, like you're talking NFT and now you're sending Bitcoin. No one would have ever thought blind signing Bitcoin. I mean, it's a crazy concept. I'm going to blind sign Bitcoin. Yeah, sure. One million dollar, gone. Today with NFT, most people are actually blind signing their NFTs. They're sending them left and right. They don't, you don't even know where you're sending them. It's a big problem. We already do clear signing on your ledger today, but we're going to talk more about clear signing today. This is one of the big topics, and again, let me repeat, we're the only company in the world who does this. This is about security, but this is about transaction. This is about building an ecosystem around Ledger, clear signing. And finally, end-to-end -end security. What we're gonna do with NFT is something that Ledger has never done before. We're gonna bring security at every step of the spectrum when it comes to NFT from the creation of the NFT all the way to its distribution. I'm not gonna talk much more about this right now because these are the presentations coming after. AZ will talk about this, Seb Bado will talk about this, Parker will talk about this. This, this is the announcement of today, end-to-end -end security. But when we think about NFT, we think about securing the entire ecosystem. Um, I want to make one announcement, and this is my only announcement. So this is Ledger Open. This is what we're going to talk about. We support communities. We support developers. We have an open platform. But also, we got cash now. So the way that we support ecosystem is also investing in two companies. We have announced it last week, I think, or two weeks. I don't know. Time flies. Two weeks. Uh, we launched a fund with Kate. Kate, was, uh, Kate Innovation was, was our, our one of our first investors. They've been with us from the beginning. We built a very strong relationship, and we decided to go to market together with a VC fund. It's a $110 million fund. We're here to invest into Web3, Seed, Series A. This is my email address, pascal at ledger.fr or .com, it works too. If you run a Web3 company and you're looking for funding, Seed, Series A, please get in touch with me. If you know a great Web3 company, I'm talking about la crème de la crème, please send them over and we happily look at the investment. We're here to support the industry in every way that we can, with technology, with cash, with our team. You should know that when you work with us, there is a team to take care of at you as developers. You'll be in contact directly with the people at Ledger and we're here to help. We're here to help within the industry with everything that we've got. So thank you for being here. Merci. <laughs> I, I can see that i got four minutes left, so uh, something that I didn't do, raise your hand if you own a ledger. Okay, those that didn't raise their hands, we're selling ledgers here. 
So please go and buy one after that. That's the last, that's the least that you can do. Um, okay, so uh, last Ledger open was in December. We made a bunch of announcements. So at Ledger, uh, we say what we do, and we do what we say. All right, there's no one better than Ian Rogers, my friend, and our chief experience officer, to tell you what we said and what we did. Ian, please, come on stage. Thank you. Truly, my friend, Pascal, when I moved to Paris um, six and a half years ago, and one of the first people I met was Pascal. I moved to Paris for a different job, and then over the following five years through osmosis, uh, ended up working with one of my very best friends. So it's truly a joy to be able to share the stage with him. So thank you. It's great to see a full room. I'm with Pascal. This is, this is humbling to see all of y'all here. And I know that there are people watching online as well. So thank you for being with us. We'll try to keep it moving for you. Um, my name is Ian Rogers, and I'm the chief experience officer here at Ledger. And that means that the team that I have builds the consumer product. So the, the Ledger Nanos that you guys all raised your hand and said you have. So thank you very much. And I today I want to talk to you about what we're doing, what's new with those Nanos, plus Ledger Live, which includes portfolio management, crypto prices, buying, exchanging, staking crypto, and viewing and sending NFTs. So I love this event, really. I, this is, as we said, twice a year. And all year long, the teams at Ledger are working for this day, where we stand up and show you guys what it is we're working on. So I'm here, but I'm really just speaking for the entire team, the others that are in the room, everybody that's back home in Paris. Pascal shows you we have more than 800 employees. So I'm just a mouthpiece. I make a promise to them every time I see them that if you guys build it, I will tell the world about it. So that's what I'm doing, and, it's, and I love being here and being able to do that. So thanks, everybody, for taking some time to be here with us to do that. So um, to set it up, we have news for you today about nanos, buying, swapping, and staking with Ledger Live, uh, connecting to Web3 securely with Ledger Connect, and our credit card. So I just want to start by giving you a personal statement that I think that this is an important company at, an, at a pivotal moment in history. I mean, everybody is in this room and so many people are in, in New York right now because we believe in this new human invention, critical digital assets. So there's 6.5 billion connected smartphones on the planet. And that has brought us this revolution of information that so many people said was impossible in 1998 or 2008, you choose when, but there were a lot of people who were like, oh, that's never gonna scale, right? But 6.5 billion people, and what, that ha what that's really made happen on planet Earth is a revolution of value. I'm sorry, a revolution of information. And then this new invention, critical digital assets, will bring the next revolution, which is a revolution of value. Um, but just like the mobile phone that I had in my pocket in the year 2000, when we all knew the internet was inevitable and the future, but the mobile phone I had in my pocket in the year 2000 didn't do anything with the internet, right? The mobile phone that we all have in our pocket today does very little to address this revolution of value. It's not purpose built for a world that includes valuable digital assets. And these phones are gonna need to be rebuilt to participate in this revolution. And as Pascal said, Ledger intends to be the company that does this, right? And today we have, as you have in any industrial transformation, the unbundling before the rebundling, which is the pairing of your Ledger Nano, your Web 3 device with your phone or your computer, your Web 2 device. And that's the world that we're living in today. So I, I hope that that makes, that makes sense to you in terms of, of an arc um, and also helps helps set the context. You know, I, I always say I remember very well the people who in 1998 said, oh, this internet thing will never scale because everyone will never have broadband. And oh, the, you know, 2008, you know, oh, the smartphone's great for rich people, but you know, everyone's never gonna have a smartphone or, you know, uh, oh, Uber's great for rich people, but regular people are never gonna use their phone to call a black car, right? I mean, you know, you always hear that. And every day I hear the people that, you know, they, they, they are, they're sort of doubters in the same way. Um, and they, they, they're, they're those same people. They sound like their parents. And I, and I remind them of that every time I'm, I can, and I hope you guys do the same. 
So as Carl said, everything that we do on our team is, is driven by three things, security, self-custody, ease of use. And I'm sure what you guys encounter in, in your travels around this world is companies and solutions that try to compromise on security and self-custody, and they use ease of use as the excuse, right? This is what we, what we always hear. And I, I, I really I argue with people about this all day, every day. But we have a new invention, and these inv this invention is digital assets which you might lose, right? So therefore, you cannot compromise on security, and we have a new right or a new freedom of self-custody, um, which is why you can't compromise on that. And as Ari said, like, that's all too apparent over the past two weeks. Three billion in assets were stolen in 2021 by exploits on smart contracts, DeFi protocols, private keys being stolen. A third of that is linked to stolen private keys of users, protocols, or exchanges, which is exactly the kind of hack that Ledger prevents against. So at, this is why at Ledger, we will never compromise on security. I'm sorry, right? Everyone that wants us to build a software wallet, no. I'm sorry, right? Until Charles tells me we can do it securely on your device, we simply won't do it. We're not interested in secure-ish, period, right? Like secure, that's what we do. And you can count on us for that. And with respect to self-custody, if not self-custody, why crypto? If what you need is another Robinhood account, like that's not, that's not the revolution. I'm sorry, we believe it's self-custody or it's not crypto. So the challenge, of course, as Carl said, is to put these things together and to do all, of, all three of these things together. And yes, it's hard. And, and guess what? Valuable companies are built by doing hard things really well. And that's, that's what we're doing at Ledger, which is trying to help you do everything that you want to do with your crypto and NFTs safely and securely and in your possession. OK. Um, at the last Ledger Open in Paris in December, we announced a new product, the Nano S Plus. We sold a Genesis edition, and it sold out in 30 hours. So thank you for that. It's been a huge success ever since. We, we, we keep selling them all day, every day. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who has kind of welcomed uh, this, this product to the market. We think it's really important to have ledger-grade security at less than $100. Again, you know, people, people, you know, wonder, oh, do you really need this, this second device? But, you know, we, when you have valuable assets, to be able to, to protect those assets for 80 bucks makes this possible. It makes, it makes it, you know, reasonable for people to, you know, to come into this ecosystem. So thanks again for helping us welcome the Nano S Plus alongside the Nano X. As part, of our, as part of our line of products. And it also, it gives customers a really simple decision to make. If you want to use your ledger with Bluetooth, you buy the Nano X. If you're cool connecting your ledger with a cable, you choose the S Plus. They both come with all the same features to secure your Bitcoin, your, your Ethereum, stake your Solana and Cardano and earn yield, buy and swap crypto, protect your NFTs, etc. But it's, it's a little bittersweet for us because the Nano S Plus replaced the best-selling device in the history of crypto, the Ledger Nano S, just truly a beloved device. You know, it was, you know, I mean, it, it, and by the way, it still works, right? How amazing, is, you know, this device works well for, for hodling. It's got less memory than you need to do maybe more advanced features, but if what you're doing is hodling Bitcoin, it works great. I mean, and, and really, like, what other consumer device from 2016 are you still using every day? Right, so I mean, it hats off to um, to the to the Nano S, but the reality is the S Plus. It's got a bigger screen, it's got more memory, better developer features, and it's taken the Nano S's place. So, I really just wanted to say a proper goodbye to the Nano S because it's such an iconic product. So next week we're going to sell the last 10,000 Nano S we will ever sell on Ledger.com. You can go to site today and buy the Nano S the same as you could have last year. But next week, it's the last 10,000. And to commemorate this moment, these 10,000 Nano S are going to come with the ability to claim an NFT created by one of my favorite artists, What Is Real. I reached out to What Is Real and asked him, said, well, would you do this for us? Um, and thankfully, he, he said yes. Um, and I just think it's cool. It's, think of it as the tombstone 
for the for the for the Nano S. And you know, you buy one of these 10,000, you get the NFT, and then when they're gone, there's no more Nano S on Ledger.com. So please join me in saying a really polite, fond farewell to the Nano S. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. All right, and I also want to say thank you. So again, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, you know, for, for buying Ledger products. And I know what we're all doing. It's early, as, as we all know, right? And so all of us are, um, we're, we're, we're talking to our friends about this stuff every day, right? I mean, I, I imagine everyone in this room is trying to explain why the hell you're caring about this stuff every single day of your life. And, and many of you find yourselves frequently recommending Ledger when you do that. And, and thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. And, and it's, I think it's a great position for us to be in. I, I, I feel, you know, I, I feel great doing what I do every day, right? I'm, I'm not, um, uh, I apologize for anyone in the advertising business, uh, but stealing people's attention and selling it to someone else, right? I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing forward something that I believe a lot in uh, ideologically, and I think others are as well. And when you're doing that, you're recommending Ledger products, and, and I appreciate that. And we want to figure out a way to show our appreciation for that. So what we want to do is to, to you know, thank you in a way. You know, we've, we've had a, a robust affiliate program for years. I'm looking at Rex, Crypto Dad, sitting right here in the, in the front row. Um, and, you know, people like Brian Jung, Crypto Casey, we've got great affiliates. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but we wanted to come up with something that, that everyone uh, could do. And that's why we're launching an affiliate uh, uh, referral program so that when you recommend Ledger and someone buys, you get crypto onto your ledger. And your friend will also get some crypto as well. So we're pulling that together and we'll, we'll have more details on it this summer. It was not easy to do from a tax and finance perspective to, you know, be kind of giving crypto to, uh, you know, to everyone on the planet, basically, who would like to, to recommend Ledger, but we've done it and it'll come to you this summer. So pay attention to, um, to Ledger's Twitter uh, to, for more details on that. Okay, I wanted to, we've, we've alluded to it a couple times in terms of um, ease of use. Uh, and we all know that for the world of digital assets to scale, it has to become easy to use. And we hear, you know, I think, I don't know about you, but I hear a lot of people saying, oh, it's so hard, the user experience is so tough. And, and I know, I mean, this is like the early days of the internet when we had, you know, um, 48, Bought modems and and you know and, and difficulty kind of getting on and off the web. There's no there's no there's no uh, no question. I, I mean I remember very well when you know and I was in digital music for 20 years. But your computer didn't come with a sound card, and your sound card didn't come with a speaker, right? And now we take for granted that you push play and music comes out of your phone. So you you does get there ultimately, but it also takes a long time. So what we're trying to do is zero in on where are the biggest pain points and fix them without compromising, right? So actually look at, you know, so what I do, and please do this for me and give me the feedback when somebody says, oh, it's so hard to use. It's like, what do you mean specifically, right? Like, what is it? What's, where's the pain, right? And then let's work together on erasing that pain. So I think everyone in this room knows that one of the biggest pains is also one of the biggest risks. Everyone here at NFT NYC is feeling this probably every day both the joy and the pain of connecting our wallets to Web3. Web3 adds the power of digital assets to the distribution of the web, but it also opens this Pandora's box of headaches and dangers. I mean, I'm sure everyone in this room has experienced software wallets that are intrinsically insecure, needing a different one of those software wallets for every chain that you do something on, stuck transactions, or other just weird things that you can't figure out, like why, how do I get out of this state? Phishing scams, Discord, Twitter, basically everywhere. And then as Pascal said, blind signing, which is the unsafe sex of Web3. It's, it's, it's awesome until it isn't. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm saying that as the person that had a kid at age 17 too. It just makes it even more ironic. Uh, um, so what I really, what I really want, of course, and what we all really want is to just connect our ledger, you know, directly to the app that we're trying to connect to, 
be able to, you know, clearly sign um, the transaction, be able to see what it is I'm signing and see the impact on my wallet after the transaction. And then also, you know, wouldn't it be great to get some alerts for things that are known scams? Right? I mean, your credit card company does this, right? You know, you get some scale across transaction. You go, oh, this one's fucked up. Don't let anyone sign this anymore, or at least, you know, put a big flashing, you know, light in front of them before they do. And this is what Ledger Connect is. Um, really struck a chord when Charles Hamill announced it at Permissionless in May. Um, it's in beta now for iOS and Safari, coming from more platforms as quickly as possible. And Charles is going to tell you a little bit more about it in just a minute. So I also feel like um, I just, I, I, given everything that's gone on in the market over the past few weeks, I just want to like, everybody should like look to their left and look to their right and be like, hey man, you okay? <laughs> like, everybody cool? You know, um, I, I, I think, I, I mean, I hope that you all have a good strategy, you know, for this moment in, in your crypto life. And you know, some of us have been through it um, for a couple of cycles, but we also all know a lot of people who haven't, right? I was with you know, an, an artist a couple of weeks ago who really was looking at me like, dude, what's going on, right? And, and so I think that, you know, we all need to kind of give comfort to each other. But really for me, and I, I just wanted to share my own personal strategy because it involves Ledger. You know, I, I continue to dollar cost average um, on a weekly basis using, using Ledger Live. I, I do buys using Ledger Live every Monday morning. Um, stake and earn yield securely, uh, you know, with self-custody, also using Ledger Live. So adding that, you know, earning yield component in there. I, I buy art, at least that's what I tell myself, um, and participate in communities um, using Ledger Connect. So I've been a beta tester from, from the very beginning. And I earn crypto with every purchase I make using my Crypto Life card, which is powered by Ledger. So my personal goal is to live a bankless life and see what that feels like. And 2022 has definitely got me closer to that. So we announced the CL card at Ledger Open in December, and I'm proud to say the card is now available and in use. It's the first crypto debit card in the world. <laughs> early, early UK beta tester, <laughs> Carl Anderson right here. Um, it's, it's truly a great crypto card, right? And I, I think this is gonna be the card you're gonna go to, you're gonna use every day in your life. Why? Because you don't need to spend crypto to use this card. I don't know about you, but I'm not spending my crypto. Um, I'm holding. But I don't need to. I can put my crypto up as collateral, and then I use that as the collateral that I, that I spend with uh, all month long. Now, if you want to, you can off-ramp with the card, so you can spend your, spend your crypto directly. Um, buy yourself something small, something big, which, uh, whichever, whichever uh, you know, is your pleasure. Um, but best of all, you earn... 1% crypto, Bitcoin, USDT, for every purchase that you make. Um, so it's the perfect card for stacking sats through the bear market just by spending the money you were going to spend anyway. Um, you know, you go to Erewhon and also buy Bitcoin. Like, how fucking cool is that? Um, I mean, why do I need the bank account, right? Um, but I, let's have a look. Cool. So, thank you. A few days ago, we launched the beta in the UK for the top waitlist users. In the next two weeks, it's going to go out to all UK users. So, if you're in the UK, um, and if you're in the United States, you're going to get yours this summer. I'm, I'm beta testing right now, and uh, as soon as as soon as it works, we go live, um, and we'll roll out through the rest of Europe this fall. So, you know, bringing a traditional financial product to market is is quite tricky, um, but we're doing it, so thanks, Garth, for the help. <laughs> uh, speaking of global rollouts, one of the most ignored qualities of the digital asset ecosystem is crypto is a global phenomenon, as Pascal was, was showing earlier. And you know, while the rest of the world is talking about mostly companies that are Western-centric or features that are rolled out to a US-only audience, Ledger is shipping to 200 different countries every single week. Um, crypto is global. 
and it, we're based in Paris, so we really feel this. For me personally, it was great to get out of the, the U.S. California bubble and, and feel uh, the, the global nature of this industry. And we just need to all remind ourselves that there are many people around the world who will be impacted by crypto much more than us in the Western world. Argentina, Vietnam, Ukraine, Turkey, Nigeria, tons of others are leading crypto adoption. And, and for us, it's important at Ledger that we do our very best to make Ledger available for everyone. So Ledger Live is now available in nine languages. Ledger.com and Ledger Academy are available in 10 languages, including Spanish, Turkish, Japanese, Korean, and since this week, Arabic. Not so easy. And we're working on language packs too for the Nano. So you'll have, um, you know, you think about that hard work of actually getting the languages to be native on the device as well. That's, that's work that Ledger's doing. As Ari mentioned earlier, this particular event that you guys are all watching today is being replayed in more than nine cities around the world. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, and we're trying to add new languages, uh, Brazilian Portuguese coming soon, as, as quickly as we can. So you've seen us roll out a lot of those over the past few months, and we're, and we're not done yet. The other thing, it's been a big request for us, um, easy to overlook, but we can't do it because we care deeply about, about you know, reaching customers in these markets. You know, a lot of global users don't have, a, have desktop or laptop computers. I know that more than 50% of world's population is ac accessing the internet only via mobile. 15% of the US population is accessing the internet only via mobile. And Android is bigger than iOS in 100 countries. Right? So we're adding the ability to update the firmware of your Nano through your Android phone as well. And, and you know, this is the kind of care that we're taking to address a global audience and really do the best to serve everybody. OK, I'm going to be back with you guys in a second. But to wrap up for right now, education is one of the most important and powerful tools that Ledger has. Because educated crypto users become Ledger customers. You know, there's this journey to Ledger, right, where you get some value, you get more educated, um, you become more concerned about, uh, about self-custody, about, about security, and you get a Ledger, right? And our job is to make that, to shorten that, the time that it takes to go from, from this to that. Um, so, you know, Ledger customers are safer than people who don't have Ledgers. And when you're... Crypto is on your ledger. No one is going to halt your withdrawals, right? So we're going to keep doing this. No matter what the market conditions are, Ledger will continue to edu educate people about, about crypto, about security, about self-custody. And this is why I'm going to hand you over to Ariel and Mo uh, to talk about how we're taking the leadership position of Ledger Academy and take education to the next level. So thanks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm back again. Uh, thanks for having me again. I'm Arielle, and I'm happy to be up here this time with my friend and colleague who I call Professor Mo. And you're going to learn why now, but do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, everyone. My name is Mo. I head community and education at Ledger. So my job is basically to get you to be wrecked proof. And this is exactly what we'll be talking about today. And I have to say, uh, you know, Ian sometimes will say, he feels like this is the most exciting company to be at at this time in the world. And I feel the same way, but also sometimes with the team, when we wake up in the morning and talk about what we're working on and Mo talks about what he's working on, I'm like, you get to wake up every day and work on this? Like, what? Come on, that's crazy. Uh, and, and really all of that is actually about making it clear that we want to bring Web3 adopted people in securely in an educated fashion. Like if you look at the last year, the number of new people in the space is actually insane. Like it's new and it's early. And unfortunately for this, you know, 41% of people that purchased their first crypto in 2021, a lot of them made mistakes along the way, right? Like they kind of, they got flooded, they got wrecked. Uh, then, they f then they Google some things, they find a ledger video, they maybe learn, they figure out why they need to help themselves. And unfortunately, that's the current process, right? And we've done a lot of work to improve that, which we'll get into, but we want to do even more to make it so that the first thing you do is you know how to take care of yourself. Um, and this is important to us. Why? Because with great freedom comes great responsibility. Um, and we'll, and, in, and even though I did not come up with that uh, sentence, I will take it 
because right now uh, it's important and it matters. And we know that if we have more adoption, that means that we're going to have even more scamming that's happening. And it's a problem because it delegitimizes the space. We know that when we go in and we talk to people about why they should give a shit about Web3, why they should care about crypto, uh, they get nervous because they're like, someone's going to take all my money. I don't think it's real. I don't know how it's going to last. And so that's why it's incredibly important to make sure that these things get slowed down because you know, nobody likes, nobody likes to lose their money and their funds. And as you can see right now, this is just happening constantly. Like every single day when you hear about everyone from, you know, unfortunately, Seth Green to different communities. And that's why we're living and breathing in the space and thinking about what can we do to take a step back and change education for everyone in the ecosystem. Yeah. I mean, to Ariel's point, we very quickly understood that in order to achieve our mission, tools by their own, they wouldn't be enough. We needed education to teach people how they can actually use our products and why they should even use our products. And in 2019, during the bear market, when most people are actually leaving the space, we were building our first Ledger Academy to teach people about how they can safely navigate it. And three years later, today, and millions of users later, we're actually reaching the next stage of building on the future of our educational efforts. So today, we're very proud to say that Ledger Academy has evolved. So let's take a look at it. Exciting. Like, I just want to say shout out to Mo and Kirsty on the team, from the writers to everyone that developed this. It takes a lot of work to actually create platforms that work for people. It's a lot easier to say, oh, I think this is going to work, and then not check in. But as we know, Web3 starts bottom up, and we want to make sure that we're actually building in that way. So if you actually go to www.ledger/academy.com, you can check out the new refresh, which is important. But would we stop there, Mo? No, we, no we would not stop there. We are very ambitious. And if we think about that, there's, there are some issues that we have in the current space, because actually we find at Ledger a lot of what we do is in spite of Web2. It's like there are all of these challenges and problems that make it so that it's harder to have adoption and education. And we surely could find another way that's deeper and more immersive and fun for education. And so Mo's been working on that. Yeah, I mean, digital assets today are enabling us to do things differently. And thanks to digital assets, we can actually start thinking about how education would look like in the future. And when we think about it, it's all about engagement. And when we talk about engagement, we talk about how would we use actually these assets to start thinking about to turn a you know, passive experience into an interactive and engaging one. And this can be done through content, experience, and rewards. In other words, learn, play, and earn. And today, we are thrilled to announce the first ever gamified educational platform where users will be able to learn, play, and earn proof of knowledge NFTs. This is Ledger Quest. Yeah.
So, as we were saying, digital assets are actually changing the way we do many different things, including how we learn. We strongly believe that NFTs can act as a proof of knowledge, but that's not all. Proof of knowledge NFTs can and will have cultural appeal. They can act as a social, social badge or a key to unlock metaverse and IRL experiences. And this really takes us to a new stage of education where it is a combination of knowledge, self-expression, and entertainment all together. This is Web3 education, and we're doing it right now. So today, in this room, on this screen, we will see the first ever proof of knowledge NFT. And it is going to be minted by none other than Fuckrender, crypto OG. And we will see it now on screen, and it will be available to all Ledger employees this July when they do the first quest on this platform. Let's take a look. The Genesis by Fuckrender. Hey. I mean, I'm, I'm like obsessed with the sticker, personally. <laughs> I don't know why I love the sticker. So, I mean, one thing that's important about this and why we would do it, of course, is that we have to start with our employees, because if we can't do it at Ledger and we can't get our Ledger employees to understand why they should give a shit about securing their crypto, then we can't expect to do it with anyone else. Uh, so we have to start there. But then we're really doing it with the communities because, you know, over the last six months, eight months, we spent countless hours in discords on Twitter spaces, talking to different community leaders and trying to provide educational materials and information for them. And then these communities will call us and say, we have a bigger problem. Like we, we're trying our best, but the platforms aren't taking accountability, and we need a scalable way to educate our communities. And so we said, OK, we will pick up the baton, and we will do our best to help you. And this is the first stage of doing that. And what's very exciting about this is it's just the beginning. You know, Seb and Alexander are going to speak later about how we actually are building security at scale and end-to-end -end secure solutions. But until that, we are taking this piece of the beginning of the journey for the user so that they can have this proof of knowledge NFT, not only to learn for themselves, but if I were in this group and I saw that five people had it and one person chose not to do it and they got wrecked, I'd be like, well, maybe you should have taken five minutes to learn and get a pretty sick NFT and not like screw the rest of us over, right? And so it's a very good opportunity for us, for us to take this on and, and to begin and push forward. And so I think we should maybe reveal some of the exciting people that we're Let's working with on this. Let's do it, okay. Uh, so we're very excited by some of our key uh, launch partners. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, first we have World of Women. Second, we have... A. Lucidia. <laughs> it's a big screen. <laughs> We then have Cool Cats. And that fellas. And last but not least, we're happy to say we also have ApeCoin. Now, this is fucking awesome. And let me tell you why. Because literally, these are some of the biggest communities. They've all gotten fudded and wrecked, and they've felt pain. They've lost a lot of money. And they stepped up and they said, we really want to help our community members out, and we're going to experiment with you. And as you know, the only thing that we can do best is experiment and push together. But at Ledger, that's not enough. That's not all. We have something else to talk to you about today. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously thinking about education today, but we're also thinking about what education would be like 10 years from now. And one of the questions we asked ourselves is, if we were going to be educating people for the long term, then we need to get ready for it. And you probably have the answer to that question. It is the metaverse. <laughs> and we're in it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I love it. I think this is sick. I, I love this. So yeah, I mean, it is no secret that gamified education is pretty effective. We actually learned through play before we could even speak, read, or even walk. So playing is our actual learning habitat. And when we think about the potential for gamified educational experiences, the metaphor becomes a no-brainer. And this is why we've partnered with the Sandbox. 
But this is obviously no news to you. Most of you know that we've partnered with the Sandbox. But what we don't know is the extent at which we went to build the Ledgerverse. Starting with the first experience this summer called School of Block, in which gamers, you, will be able to fight off scammers and hackers to earn exclusive NFTs. So let's check it out. Welcome to the Ledgerverse. The Metaverse is a magical place. Bursting with opportunity. But dangers are lurking in the shadows. What if there was a way to prepare yourself for this new world? Join Ledger's School of Block and its professors, whose only mission is to get you Metaverse ready. Gear up for a series of adventures. Complete all the quests. And become a true master of crypto security. Are you ready to claim the key to the metaverse? <laughs> uh, needless to say, I'm very ready. I feel like the uh, kid in me Pretty is very excited that the adult now gets to, to play with it. And actually, that's the perfect nod to the custom NFT that Mo is teasing up there because you know, we're just really showing with everything that we're teasing today, right? Like Web3 education starts here. I don't think you'll find a more committed company because education means trust, and trust is priceless. And if we want the next billion people to come on board with Web3, we need them to trust themselves. We need them to take a, take a stand to, in their journey and understand how to self-custody their assets. And so I also want to talk about this other piece that we do that with, which is with communities. And so I'm really excited to invite Ian back on the stage because we know Ledger isn't the main character. We do this because we want to flow through the communities that you work with so that we can scale with you in these critically important things. So thank you, and let's bring up Ian. That was great. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, RMO. Um, so for me, thinking about who is Ledger's customer is like asking who is Google's customer, right? I mean, the same way Google's customer is anyone who uses the internet, Ledger's customer is anyone who uses digital assets. But I also think it's true that there's no such thing as a crypto person, right? Crypto isn't actually a thing. It, it's, it's a collection of communities, right? It's like saying music is a thing, right? No, it's a collection of communities. And you have vibrant and important communities around Bitcoin, around Ethereum, around you know, many other coins and tokens. You have the community around DeFi. Within NFTs, you have a bunch of distinct communities from art blocks to vFriends and everything in between. And the truth is, is that the prevalence of Ledger over indexes in strong communities, as Pascal was referring to earlier. Because when communities are tight-knit, active, and centered around a valuable asset, such as Bitcoin or apes or proof, and people get wrecked, then word travels within those communities, right? Um, so valuable communities have a higher percentage of Ledger users. That's a statistical fact. So our mission is to secure the world of digital assets, but this world is a collection of communities. So we're only going to get there if we secure these communities within. As Ari and Mo are saying, our mission is to give the communities the tools to stay safe, from education to personalized customer care to the custom products like we've done with Atom Bomb Squad and vFriends that you can see out here in, in, the, in the entryway. Um, and we announced a VCon. And, you know, we, I, I hear, and, and thank you, I hear good feedback from people like, oh, wow, we're seeing you guys in the press. And, you know, we've done some things that have grabbed headlines, right, from being on the, on the runway with, with Fendi. This is the, the little Fendi case, which you can actually order on Fendi.com right now. We did a limited edition Ublow watch um, made from Electrum uh, with Ledger in a box drawer. Um, and then uh, I loved seeing Gunna, uh, wearing an iced out ledger around his neck at the, at the Met Gala, uh, free gunner. Uh, but, you know, but, the, but the truth is, is that, you know, I mean, these things are eye catching and they're headline catching, but the truth is this is a really, really, really small fraction of what the team is doing every day, as you've seen from what, what Ari and Mo are, are, are showing you. I mean, every single day our team is on Twitter, in Discord, 
you know, working inside these communities to make sure that they have great enterprise security, as Alex is going to talk to you about in a minute, and also to make sure that the members of the communities know how to keep from getting wrecked by poor security. And this is what we're going to do. I mean, as you can see from what REMO presented, we're going to continue showing up every day, doing education, being supportive, um, and, you know, collaborating with these communities. And this, this might mean education, and it might mean, you know, collectible limited edition ledgers so you can represent your community with security and style. So you see these comes. The, the, the hundreds, Warp Sound, both dropped collabs yesterday. And spoiler alert, Stadium Goods comes tomorrow. You can see all of these out, out here in the entryway right now today. Um, and like I said, you know, you get these Fendi cases, uh, de you know, designed by Sylvia Fendi and, and available now. Okay, I have a question for you. And this might seem like an odd question, but I promise it, it's, it's relevant. Any, any other skateboarders in the room today? Okay, wow, that's, a, that's, that's disappointing, y'all. Okay, a couple in the back, thank you. Um, Anybody else here see the Bones Brigade documentary? You don't have to be a skateboarder to have watched the documentary. All right. Well, if you're, if you're roughly my age, which is kind of old, actually, and grew up skateboarding, then you know who the Bones Brigade were. And if you don't, you could just search Bones Brigade and watch the documentary. It's actually worth watching. But the relevance is I was talking to my friend Sean Bonner, who, wor who works with Shepard Ferry and a number of other artists and is an artist himself and a skateboarder. And we had this realization that the way to take community building to the next level at Ledger was to build a pro team, right? Just like a skateboard company or a company like Nike or Adidas would. And what, what we would like to do with that pro team is to find and select a few, we can't get everybody of course, but a few of the strongest community leaders who represent different communities across crypto. It would be great for those people to give us honest and direct feedback from their communities, right? I mean, that stuff shouldn't come through customer service and then bounce around. It should come directly from the communities, but also help us spread the words that we're, that we're talking about today. So I'm excited to announce to you guys today who the very first members of the Ledger Bones Brigade, the Ledger Pro Team today. And some of them are in the room with us right now, so I'm going to call you out. Starting with artist, musician, and creator of the pioneering NFT project Ziggurats, music NFT project, probably best known for his work in a little band called Lincoln Park and Fort Minor, my friend Mike Shinoda. <laughs> One of the true Bitcoin OGs, a Bitcoin community leader going all the way back, and I'm not trying to date you, I think I'm older than you. The, the, early, the early 2013 San Francisco Bitcoin meetups. And if you, if you are into Bitcoin, you probably already subscribe to his newsletter, Dan Held. I don't know if anybody noticed my watch, um, but <laughs> Dead Fellas, Betty Syke and Dead Fellas to me are some of the most fun ones to watch in the NFT space. And not just because I love the art, it's because they're idealists and they have great taste and they stand up for what they believe and what they want. And I really believe they're long-term in the space. So dead fellas. <laughs> and finally, perhaps the best known and best spoken thinker on this intersection of technology, fashion, and really identity and community, Bobby Hundreds from the Hundreds and Atom Bomb Squad. If you haven't, if you haven't already his, read his white paper, which is probably prophetic and, and came out last year, I, I highly recommend it. He's, he's forced, I just spent five years working at LVMH, and I can promise you that I sent that to absolutely everybody that I, that I you know, could reach at LVMH because he's forced an entire industry to think about exactly what it is they're selling and why and how NFTs intersect with that. So thank you and let's introduce the pro team.
I love it. I mean, I, I you know, it's, I started I started collecting records when I was five years old, <laughs> and you know, growing up skateboarding and just being a fan of culture, and then having having lived through. I mean, for those who don't know me, um, I, I dropped out of a computer science degree in grad school, our computer science PhD program to go on tour with the Beastie Boys in, in, in 95. So being at the proof party last night with Mixmaster Mike is like full circle to me. And this collision of technology and culture, it's just, it's incredible, right? So, um, and, 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 and I don't know, hopefully you'll watch the Bones Brigade documentary, but if you are a pro rider for, uh, you know, for a skate company or, you're, you're LeBron James or Serena Williams and you're sponsored by Nike, you know what you get, right? You get your own pro model. So each of these guys will have their own pro model and you can see them in the, you know, later today. And also please check out, you know, Mike and Dan's pro models in the, in, in the entryway here and catch their panels this afternoon. Also, we have something for everyone to participate in and for those of you who are watching it at, at home as well. We're announcing that we're doing NFT giveaways of the Pro Team NFT collection, starting with Deadfellas right now. So if you go to Ledger's Twitter, and you'll be able to, to enter to win a Deadfella if you don't have one, or if you're like me and you have many, you could get one more. So, and I want to just give a big shout out to everybody we see out there, you know, wearing Ledger's in the wild. I don't, I don't see many of you now. I have chains for you. Come find me afterwards. I'll give you a chain. And you can put your ledger on it. If you want to talk about the security model, we can do that too. Um, but so YG, Bobby Hundred, Saweetie, Gunna, Gambit, I see you. Thank you. And uh, keep posting TikTok, Twitter, et cetera. Keep it coming. All right. Thank you. Carl. Come on. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, Ian. Uh, just to compliment on to what Ian just said, to, to, to actually get um, a dead fellas, follow us on Twitter. Actually, you should all be. Who's following us on Twitter? Like, come on, show, show me some hands. All right, cool. That's pretty good. All of you, follow us on Twitter. Retweet the post that just went live uh, right now and then add a comment to it saying how Ledger helped you in your NFT journey. And if you don't have a Ledger yet, what you're planning to do with it. Um, and actually, more on this, next week, next Thursday, there's going to be more NFT giveaway. So stay tuned, uh, mo more, more coming up. Um, yeah, so as, as Ian said, I just love when tech and culture actually come together and, and, and meet. That was, it was super cool. And that was, that was the culture part. Now we're going to go into the product part. And for this, our next speaker is our full-time VP product. He's also actually our, I call him the VP of apparel. He's actually the one who made that great jumper. Uh, for us is Charles Hamill. Thanks, Charles. 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 Thanks, but when we started, it was mostly about Bitcoin, about cold storage. Life was simple. Now there's many more assets, more use cases, and more complexity overall. It's a complex world out there. From NFTs to DeFi to staking to dApps. And so far, it's been hard to find a place to do it all easily, especially if you're not compromising on security and self-custody. But we believe that security doesn't need to be scary and that we can be this place where you can do it all with ease. And this is why we're investing heavily in user experience across our products, starting with Ledger Live. Ledger Live is the only place where you can truly see all of your assets and participate in Web3 with full self-custody backed by hardware security. We're currently improving the whole user experience to make it easier and solve, solve some of the big pain points with crypto, like sending, receiving, and depositing from exchanges. And I'm sure you've all felt this pain at some point. We've also made it easier to track your portfolio performance and the market overall with the new market tab. And since earlier this year, NFTs have become first-class citizens in Ledger Live, where you can now browse your NFT collections across multiple blockchains all in one place and where for the first time you can safely transact with these digital assets right from your ledger with clear signing on our trusted display. 
As Pascal said earlier, over 20% of all crypto is secured by Ledger, and a lot of it is accessed through Ledger Live. And today we support all of the popular blockchains, as, as well as several emerging ones. Many wallets claim to be multi-chain, but really fall short when it comes to anything outside Ethereum and the EVM world. But we're built different. And our open source nature allows third-party developers to build on Ledger, from individuals to foundation. And people are building on Ledger like never before. But what about the web? Right? This has been a huge point of friction for Ledger users, and frankly, a source of anxiety. Right? OK, I want to have the best security, but I want to access the latest dApps as well. Right? Um, and we've been thinking a lot about this problem, and we wanted to make it easier and safer to use your ledger on the web. But as we know, Web3 brings new risks, right? And we get almost daily reminders of this. And so many assets have been lost in the past year. A lot of this is from, from scams, from phishing attacks, you know, from that simple link in a Telegram group to very sophisticated phishing attacks. Um, you know, people are losing their crypto left and right. But again, we don't think security needs to be scary. Right? And re we recognize that Web3 is about choice, and that you know, the primary way people have accessed these, these services so far has been through third-party wallets. And we care deeply about bringing security to this wider wallet ecosystem. Right? But we also want to offer a secure, secu simple solution for Ledger users for connecting to Web3 that's really tailored for them. And this is why we're building Ledger Connect. So Ledger Connect is a Ledger-only browser extension that makes it easier than ever to connect your Ledger to Web3. Um, and it works together with Ledger Live to really give you this combined best experience. In three words, Ledger Connect is easy, smart, and secure. Let me show you why. It's easy because it's, it finds users where they are, right? oftentimes in a browser. Right? So it really reduces friction. Um, and it's, it's very easy because you don't need to create a new wallet. You don't need to create a new passphrase, you know, save those words, care about the security of that, think about moving assets back and forth. Right? You have one wallet, you connect your ledger, and it just works. It's smart because. It's one extension for multiple blockchains. You don't need an extension for this dApp, another one for that dApp. Right? It's one extension, multiple blockchains. You connect your ledger. It just works. This means that you can seamlessly move from a Solana dApp to an Ethereum dApp, soon a Polygon dApp, and Connect will figure it out. Right? It automatically which app to open on your ledger, and that really boosts user experience. It's also, sorry, it's also smart because We've made it trivial for developers to integrate and add Ledger Connect support to their dApp. And we've done so by integrating in all of the popular Web3 connectivity libraries, like Web3 Onboard and Web3 React. And today, I'm happy to announce that LooksRare is the first partner that has integrated Ledger Connect in their marketplace. <laughs> so let me show you what it looks like. So this is um, Safari on iOS with Ledger Connect going to looks rare. Um, we have the familiar looking um, connect your wallet button. You see Ledger is now one of the preferred options. You tap it, um, Ledger Connect over Bluetooth sees your ledger. You connect to it. Let's say I want to buy this NFT. Give you a preview of the transaction. You tap continue. Um, now, Ledger Connect will run a bunch of Web3 checks uh, on that transaction. I'll go more into that shortly. Once that's done, it will give you a preview of that. And this is the point where you would confirm the transaction on your ledger, again, over Bluetooth on the go, wherever you are. So this was looks rare. I think it looks good. What do you think? But of course, a big element to Ledger Connect is security. As we reduce friction to use all these services in Web3, we've taken measures to warn you about potentially unsafe transaction with a feature we call Web3 Check. Web3 Check is part of Connect and uses both on-chain and off-chain signals 
to warn you about these risks before you sign on your ledger. We think that Web3 Check will bring you additional peace of mind and make you feel much more confident when interacting with Web3 outside of Ledger Live. And today, I'm excited to announce that we're going even further with Web3 Check by adding transaction simulation. Transaction simulation, like the name sounds, um, simulates the outcome of that transaction before it is sent. Right? This means that you kind of get to see the future in a way. Right? And you get a preview of the impact on your wallet, both for your ETH, your ERC20s, and your NFTs. Let me show you what it looks like. So, to set the stage, right, you, let's say you got a link in a, in a friendly Telegram group or a, a Discord on Twitter, and you end up on this very friendly looking website that's telling you, hey, there's a free NFT to mint, like now, you, do, you need to do it now. Um, so let me show you. So you're again in Safari on iOS, you tap mint now, that will generate a, a transaction uh, prompt on Ledger Connect. Free transaction, looks good so far running Web3 check on the domain, on the contract history, and simulating the transaction powered by Block Native. And now we see that Web3 check has identified key risks with that transaction. And if you were to, to sign it, that free NFT would make you lose both a Moonbird and some USDC. Right? And this is before it even kind of reaches your device. Right? So you, you get some, some checks there that are really helpful and make sure that people don't lose their crypto. Right? So we think this is an amazing feature um, that will really help people, again, not lose their crypto. And at the end of the day, this is what we're here for. So to sum up, if you are a developer and want to learn more about how you can support Ledger Connect in your dApp, please check out our developer portal and join our Discord. And if you're a Ledger user today and have a 90X on an iOS device and you want to give Connect a try, please sign up for the beta. Uh, and we'll be sending invites soon. Thank you very much. We just have so much good news to share. I didn't know yet that, the, that we had even more in that moment. So um, I'm, I'm happy to now transition to have our VP of Metaverse come up and speak with you. I still think he probably has the best title in the company at Ledger. I don't fully know what it means yet, but I don't think anyone actually knows what it means yet, other than we actually really care about the time that you're spending and the digital value that you're building. Um, and so I'm thrilled to bring Seb Bado up to the stage to talk to us. So VP Metaverse is a Pascal Gauthier original. He invented that title. It's a pretty cool title. I have to say my kids love it. Uh, I, can, I joined Ledger a few months ago. I couldn't be more thrilled to be here today. Uh, we're going to make two very big announcements, which I think are a pivot in Ledger's history. The first one is that we're going to be releasing a first sale distribution platform for NFTs. So for any brand, creator, or artist, you're going to be able to securely connect to your communities. The second one is that we're going to create, we're going to launch a uh, min pass or an alpha pass rather for collectors who want to engage with these drops. So those are the two main announcements that we're going to be making and we're going to dive deep into why we're doing this. Uh, but first I want to talk a little bit about myself. So I've been working for the past 20 years, over 20 years actually, um, with brands and creators um, and platforms, right? So I've built platforms. I started in Web1 in 1999. I'm that old. Uh, helping brands, you know, see the potential of e-commerce, uh, working for a Web1 company called Amazon that did pretty well. 
Uh, five years later, I moved on to Web2 by joining Google uh, and YouTube, which is you know, a poster child for Web2, helping brands, again, take advantage of the power of digital marketing, advertising, to reach new communities, to engage with our consumers. I took a bit of a sidestep in 2015, and I joined what I would call a hybrid web company called Alibaba, because it's a Chinese company, and I think the web in China is a little bit different than anywhere else. But again, with the same goal of helping brands figure out a new frontier, and really China is a new frontier, uh, and how they can harness it and develop their brands and take advantage of all the amazing technology that's there. So it feels very natural for me to move into Web3 and move into Ledger. I really believe that if we do things right, Web3 has the potential to be bigger than Web1, Web2, and Web2.5 and put together. We just have to get it right. And I think we as an ecosystem really want to do this, and, and we'll only be able to do it if we do it together. So today isn't Ledger's coming out party into the NFT space. You've been hearing this all morning long. Um, out of 40 billions of NFT transactions, 17 were secured by Ledger. That's almost half. 37% of exchanges are done from ledgers. If you deep dive into like, specific communities, for example, in April of this year, 50% of the transactions of Bored Apes were done with a ledger. That tells me that there's 50% of Bored Apes users that don't really care about their Bored Apes, but you know, at least half of them got it right. So, you know, so, you know that's one thing. We've really been in this ecosystem for a while, and I think that it makes sense because the reality is that there's a level of connection that you have to your NFTs, which goes beyond your connection to money. It's social. It's also like linked to you know, uh, a feeling of wanting to support a specific artist. Um, and you know, if you've been in New York City for the past couple of days, you see that like, social gated access to parties is a thing. Uh, so I think it's really, really important for us to be in that space because people really have that connection uh, to their NFTs and also because obviously you want to be secure in that space because a lot of the hacks are happening there. The second thing that we've been doing, and we've been doing this for almost two years now, is really supporting brands and supporting communities into the space. We've helped them do their first drops. We've helped them edu educate their communities. And we're going to do be doing a lot more in the, in the coming year. We really believe that smart contracts are a revolution that will have an impact on many industries, and that culture is becoming an asset class since everything will get tokenized, right? But in order for the industry to thrive, it needs to get fixed, because today what we're dealing with is a broken ecosystem, right? Every community that we talk to, every brand that we talk to want to get in, but they are worried about the fact that the ecosystem is broken. And in order to bring in the next billion Web3 users, we need two things. We need ease of use, and we need security, right? You've heard this number again, but you know, repetition does not spoil the prayer. $3 billion have been scammed since 2021. That doesn't make, so if you want to bring new people into a space and you're telling them, hey, three billion got scammed, I don't think anybody wants to come in, right? So, you know, and there isn't a week that goes by without a headline about a specific scam. Last week, or I think the week before, there was the story of Seth Green, the actor who had a board ape, was in development of a TV show. Board ape got stolen, can't really do the TV show anymore. And Ian often says that people start, start caring about security when they get wrecked. And that's not the way that it should be, right? You should care about security now. The second issue that we're seeing is what I call the tyranny of choice. There are about 6 million NFTs out there. 99.2% of them have never gotten a single bid. So is it because the projects are not great? Is it because we're not finding the right way to like, put it in front of the right people? Is it because there's not enough demand? Could be a mix of all of these different things. But you know, we need to you know, click back to ease of use, make it easy for people to dis discover and connect with the communities that they want to connect with. The other thing is that there's really no real way to showcase for creators their collections in an easy way and in a way that you know, resonates with our communities. So you know, luckily, there is a solution. And the solution we, is built on three pillars. The first one is the Ledger Enterprise solution that we'll talk about a little bit later. It will allow you to create and store your NFTs, create your governance, so any brand, any creator, any artist will be able to do this in a very safe way, store their NFTs, have governance. The second one that we're going to be talking about in a moment, and which is our first announcement, is Ledger Market, which is, an, is going to allow you to securely distribute these assets. And then the third one, as we looked 
a little bit earlier is ledger hardware, which allows you to clear side trans transactions. And as Pascal was saying, we are the only company that allows for that. So in order to present Ledger Market, I wanted to bring on stage the creative mastermind behind it, Parker Todd Brooks. Parker. Hello, everyone. I'm Parker Todd Brooks, and um, I'm the vice president of NFT products at Ledger. So before I get started, what you're about to see is the best for sale NFT platform on the planet. It is the best place for you to drop your NFTs. Now I know best, you know, is subjective. I get that. And what best means to me, what means to us, it is the most secure. It means that you are prioritizing the security and safety of your customers, your NFTs and their contracts, and the community first. First. Yeah, I know, I know you're on Twitter, I get that. And I know you're on Instagram, I get that. And I get it that you're on Discord, I get it. But if you're driving the community to insecure minting sites that prioritize software wallets and blind signing, and you're putting everyone at risk, everyone, you're doing it wrong. So, if what I'm about to show you today speaks to you, and you're a brand, you're an artist, you're a creator, please reach out to us. A lot of us are here in New York, um, and we're based in Paris, but we have offices in New York and a lot of us are in Paris. So we're really easy to get a hold of, so reach out to us. We'd love to work with you. And lastly, if you're a creator, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> if you're a collector, I ask you that you reach out to your favorite projects, creators and artists, and encourage them to integrate these technologies. So with that, let's get started. So Ledger Market was built from the ground up to be the most secure NFT platform on the planet. And this is what our brand looks like. It's a generative font with over two billion unique iterations. So one, it speaks to the massive awareness generative art and PFP projects have brought to blockchain technology. Hats off to all of you. Couldn't be here without you. And it also speaks to the advanced cryptography built into Ledger and Ledger Market's DNA. So to start, we're partnering with culturally relevant artists and brands to bring education and security to the forefront of NFTs. And to bring this to life, we built many indicators, pieces of education, if you will, that are built into Ledger Market to show you that you are authentically interacting with Ledger and our partners. So when you go to Ledger Market to Mint, you're presented with a secure Web3 login. And this is what it looks like. What makes this super special is at the click of a button, you can go from the web to Ledger Live, and boom, this thing is securely connected. Your wallet. Ledger Live is the first indicator or opening is that the first indicator you're authentically interacting with Ledger and Ledger Market. And for our partners, what's even super special, even more special than that, is that this is gonna be the first time ever that your community knows that they're interacting with your genuine NFT contracts. So the next indicator that you're interacting with Ledger Market and our partners is that all transactions must be verified on a Ledger trusted display this little guy or girl. We believe in don't trust, verify. And we call this clear signing. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. So in conclusion, Ledger Market plus Ledger Live plus clear signing is an elegant and seamless solution. And it solves one blind signing and two, reduces the risk of almost all phishing scams. These are two of the most dangerous threats facing NFTs in our communities today. 
So it's a milestone. And to celebrate it, we've created a limited edition Black on Black Nano X. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool too. Some prototypes, and if you'd like to see them, I can uh, show you in the audience. I'm happy to show you. And so to receive this limited edition product, you'll need the Ledger Market Genesis Pass. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. So not only will you be able to redeem for this physical product this fall, this NFT gives you preferred access via prement to our, all of our partner collaborations on Ledger Market. So starting today, you can sign up to the allow list at market.ledger.com. And for all of you in attendance and everybody that's on Twitter that wants to roll down to Ledger Open in New York, we have an iPad outside and you can sign up for your guaranteed spot. Thanks, man. So to celebrate Ledger Market and the launch, we've created a small little video and I'd love to show it to you now. So thank you. So I, I, I've seen this hundreds of times, maybe close to a thousand, but every time that I do, I still think it's so awesome. So I'm really, really happy to be able to show it to you guys. You know, I'm really blown away by what we've been able to build and, and how clean and beautiful and, and how it really addresses a problem that the space has. And, and when we really thought about market, you know, we thought about three things. We wanted like three things to really be part of it and three major issues we wanted to tackle. Like one of them, obviously, is security. Security is our DNA. That's what we do every day. We live it, we breathe it, and it had to be the core component. It's the first thing that we address. The second one is inclusivity. We see part of our mission as broadening the overall ecosystem, and we will only be able to do it if we address something larger than the current communities. So in order to do that, we're working with a bunch of communities that you see, that you see here, but we're also working with Premed. Brendan Mulligan, the CEO of Premed, was supposed to be here. Unfortunately, he couldn't be, but he recorded this little video to explain how we're partnering together to bring as many communities and as many inclusive communities into the ecosystem. Hey everyone, my name is Brendan Mulligan. I'm hey everyone, the founder my name is Brendan Mulligan. Mulligan. So sorry I can't join you live today. So my daughter came down with COVID a few days ago, and I'm at home taking care of her. But I am so excited but about what Ledger, so is excited about what Ledger is releasing today. I started Premed about a year ago with the goal of inclusivity. What was happening at the time is every popular drop, which is basically every drop, uh, was overrun by bots. You as a collector would show up, and either the gas was absurdly high, or you literally couldn't click the mint button faster than the bots had already taken it from the contract. And so as a collector, it was a very, very frustrating experience. What we gave to creators was a way for them to pre-register people interested in minting. And if there were more people interested in minting than they had spots for, they can run a fair raffle and they can create an allow list and a wait list. And then when these people show up on mint day, it's constrained to just them. And so there's no gas them. war because so everyone's guaranteed a spot. Now, usually with pre-mint, there are some left over and that goes to the public. You have a small group of people that potentially have to fight um, to get a few less mints, but it has generally solved the gas war problem across the board for mints that use this approach. We've had almost 10 million registrations for different projects. We've had almost 2 million collectors and wallets and connect to collectors the Collectors and wallets so connect to the platform. It's been a massive so success. It's been a been massive success across the board for a lot of people, both creators and collectors alike. So. With what Ledger is releasing with Ledger Market, we're so excited to be a part of it. And we're so excited that we're going to continue to bring this sense of inclusivity across all the projects on Ledger Market. So I'm excited to meet you all at a live event soon. I'm excited to be part of this platform, and I'm very excited for what Ledger is doing for our space. Thank you for having me, and hope to see you soon. I love that. And I think it resonates very well with the idea that you know, we're building a platform and we're integrating different partners into that platform. 
The third thing, that the other thing that we're doing around inclusivity, and we'll be rolling this out a little bit later in the year, is this idea of doing a free NFT with every nano purchase. So we'll have an artist in residence every month, and so anyone who buys a ledger will automatically have an NFT, so they'll learn how to interact with them, and we'll be able to educate them around the importance of security around the NFT ecosystem, because we really believe that NFTs is one of the ways to bring in that next billion people, not just crypto. The third pillar is cultural relevance. Ledger has been part of the Web3 ecosystem for eight years. Uh, in the past six months, we've seen an influence of new projects coming from new entrants, which we call brands. And it makes sense, right? Because brands themselves are culture. And what I find really interesting is that I lived through the dot-com bubble burst in 2000 when I was at Amazon, and it was very hard to go and sell e-commerce at that time. I lived through the financial crisis when I was at Google in 2008, and it was very hard to go and sell advertising services when the first thing companies were cutting were marketing budgets. What I find fascinating is that in 2022, despite the bear market, people are still building, and even more and more. And brands are not stopping their projects because they firmly believe in the impact that Web3 can do for the way that they connect with their consumers and the technology that they can build behind it. So in order to is illustrate this, I wanted to bring up on stage an iconic brand, or the president, sorry, from an iconic brand, which is Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer is part of the LVMH group, and is the general manager from the Connected Watch division, Teddy Florent, is gonna now come on stage to come up to talk about their journey to Web3 and you know, how they're developing uh, into the space. Teddy? Yeah. Hello everyone. So the FTC has reported $3 billion of NFT and crypto assets being stolen in 2021. That's amazing. That's a huge number. So this is why we we believe that security is key in the NFT world today, and that why we secured Ledger as a trusted partner for um, accompanying us in that journey um, uh, today. So Tagoyer is the luxury uh, maker of mechanical and connected watches. So the journey of Tagoyer is all about innovation and culture. So today, what I'm going to tell you about is first why we came to Web3 in the first place, why we took another route as everybody else, and why we introduced the first device emphasizing on the proof of ownership and en enabling you to show your NFTs onto your wrist. So first of all, as a general manager of the Connected Watch division at uh, Tagoyer, I'm super proud that innovation has always been at the heart of our DNA. In 1962, we were the first Swiss watch to be sent to space, to space. And in 2015, we created the first luxury smartwatch uh, at the exact same time as Apple Watch, so the Tagoyer Caliber E1. Um, Caliber e and lately, we detected a strong cultural match between the NFT world and the luxury world. So those two have quite a lot in common. A strong appetite for unicity and distinction, for desirability, for communities of collectors, and a strong value given to authenticity. So it appeared to us quite evident that Tagore had to go into that space and do something major. But we didn't want to do like everybody else. We didn't want to do just another drop, an, another series of drop. So we wanted to, do, to enable the ecosystem with something that actually matters to them. And to, uh, we detected that there was something missing to, for it to grow more, and we wanted to play that role. So we detected that there were very limited ways of enabling to leveling your, uh, NFT, um, your NFTs and show them, showcase them in real life. So we wanted to amplify that bridge between the digital life, your digital identity, your digital assets, and the physical world. So we came up with the idea to use the Connected Watch as the ideal companion to showcase your NFT collections onto your wrist and showcase them in a matter which prove the, 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 the ownership uh, of your collection. So we added a sign validated by Ledger on the, on the wrist with a small uh, cloud of stars around the watch face to show that you are the owner of this collection and nobody but you. So last week we launched the Tagoyer Connected Watch Calibre E4, this one, 
with NFT viewer inside enabling just that. The connected watch face becomes the mirror of your digital life in the real world. So we are happy about this important first step of Tagoyer into the NFT space. We are happy about the collaboration with Ledger to enable security on this path and looking forward to the feedback from the community. Thank you, Teddy. So you'll have noticed that a lot of the speakers today are actually wearing this watch. And you can come and check it out. It's in the casing. And the market NFT is actually integrated in there. Ian has it, Pascal has it, Ariel has it, everybody has it. Go and check it out after the, after the talk. So I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, we're really, really proud about what we've built. Uh, we feel that it's the start of a new journey for Ledger. It's a start of a new journey for the NFT ecosystem, I find, as well. If you're a brand, if you're an artist, if you're a creator, please reach out. We have so much. The idea is really to make this as broad as possible. We want to give you the tools to connect and reach your communities in the most secure way. And if you're a collector, market.ledger.com, sign up now. See you. And wait, wait. I have to introduce the next speaker. I cannot just leave. But the first step that I talked about earlier was this idea that you know, the first step is around securing enterprise projects. And in order to talk about this, I want to bring up on stage my dear friend, Alexander, who's going to talk to you about enterprise. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. That was incredible. Like we're, we're closing up the morning. We're moving along quite nicely. It's almost afternoon time. But guys, Ledger Market, insane. Insane presentation. The tech is incredible. Let's give them a hand of applause. A little more energy. Come on, let's go. There we go. What I'm going to talk about isn't that exciting. That's why we needed a little more, a little more energy. But it's equally as important. And I cannot stress enough how critical it is for somebody to solve the distribution challenge, right? The security for the end user is paramount. The impact of the hacks and the scams is critical, but it's also impact to the creator community, to the brands, because the brand damage it creates, and it slows adoption, as we talked about earlier. So it was a really critical problem to solve for. And things are getting better, right? The communities are mobilizing themselves. They're educating themselves on security, which is amazing. Leaders like Teddy and others are really investing in building secure user experiences for their audiences. Ledger Market and other distribution channels are going to be much more secure. And of course, with the Ledger hardware wallet, the user is well protected. These are all very important points, and the user is in pretty good shape if we get all of this right. So problem solved, right? Well, not quite. There's still quite a bit to do. Because there's one question that really remains, is with the user protected, who is really protected, protecting the creators and the brands? And that really needs to be solved in the space. So me, uh, my personal background, I was in financial services most of my career, building tools for global markets like NASDAQ and others. Through that process, I was very lucky to see a lot of companies go public, a lot of really big IPOs seen tremendous market volatilities and a lot of large scale scams happening in public markets. It happens all the time. These are the things that get a lot of attention, right? And in the financial services business, we kind of call that the iceberg effect, right? People tend to focus on the things they can see, but the real work happens underneath the waterline. It's really, it takes thousands of hours, coordination of many teams, many individuals, to really structure an IPO, to execute it properly. It takes the same type of effort to launch a DAO or launch an NFT project. Many of you in this room are directly involved in this. You understand the problem set. You understand the lack of tools. You understand the challenges involved in that. And it's always been my own personal frustration that the work that's required to do this, the thousands of hours, the teams, they don't get the attention. They don't get the tooling. Everybody's focusing on the next drop. Everybody's focusing on the next IPO, on the next DAO. And we don't pay enough attention to the way it's done. That's been my own personal frustration, my own personal something that I care about pretty deeply. So it's really no surprise that this is what we focus on with Ledger Enterprise. We're here to help brands. 
communities and institutions, do all of the work, do all of the work properly, and do all the work securely and effectively to create their NFT journey. So, and obviously this is Ledger, right? So we do it with security at the core. So Parker and team uh, for NASDAQ Market show you guys how to deliver an NFT securely to your hardware wallet. Now, this is really great for the user. The challenge is if you're a large organization or brand like LVMH, that doesn't quite help you because you need to do all the work that you need to do. So we have this. This is a Ledger device, same security as a Nano. It has a bigger screen for more complex transactions, and it plugs into our SaaS platform. With the SaaS platform, we allow you to do user management, secure governance, secure workflows, and it really helps execute these types of use cases. We've been doing this for four years. This product has been in the market for four years now. And we have a really amazing track record. In those four years, we had zero. Well, first, we have our customers securing tens of billions in value. Right? So this is why we talk about this. It's kind of the, the best kept secret of Ledger. So tens of billions of value protected on the platform. Hundreds of billions transacted on an annualized basis. Zero has been ever compromised from a security perspective, and our clients have never mismanaged a single dollar. <laughs> We've been focusing tremendously last year on implementing Web3 functionalities. We've incorporated new uh, proof of uh, stake protocols like Tezos and Polkadot. We've incorporated secure staking on the platform and new DeFi protocols. So you can now do all the Web3 activities from the security of your Ledger enterprise with secure governance and secure workflows. But today, NFTs are really the star of the show. So what we wanted to take a little bit of time to do today is go through some do's and don'ts for NFTs. So I'm going to try to give you guys, a little bit of advice on this space. It's a very varied audience. Some of you guys have been doing this for a very long time, have a very deep understanding of this. Some of you might be early to the NFT world, and some of you might just be hearing about this today. So it's important to talk through some of these concepts. To start with, if you're going to work with NFTs, you cannot shy away from crypto. Right? Your communities are using it, and it's critical to operate on these distributed networks. In correctly always tells us that to be a part of a community, you have to bring something of value, and then you have to leave it behind. It's a very simple truth, and it's incredibly right. So please, if you're going to be working with NFTs, focus your strategy on public networks, not private ones. Inclusion is critical in this regard. You will also need to make sure you can manage a crypto treasury. That's an incredibly important piece. You will need crypto to operate your NFT business. You can't do without it. You have to learn. You have to understand how to do it. You can't just convert into fiat and not manage your own crypto assets. Second, this one is very important and near dear to my heart and obviously the whole mission of Ledger, is please do not trust others with your value. Right? You cannot do that. You can outsource technology, process, education, services, you can even outsource operations, but do not outsource ownership, manage it. To do that, you have to own your smart contract. Please, it is critical. The smart contract is the one thing that guarantees the value that you create for your communities long term. That is the contract that you establish with your users. Critical to own it. And Please treat your Web3 assets, protect them the way you would protect your brand. They're immutably linked. Once you publish your NFTs, your clients have it, they're associated with your brand, it's an immutable record. Something happens to the NFTs, impacts your brand reputation. Put the right security in place. So last but not least, obviously, do not compromise on security. 
right? If you're operating a Web3 business, you cannot run it out of a software wallet. You have to have better practices. Do not put your operational team in a position where they're executing without the tools that they need and signing high value transactions that they cannot see or interpret properly. So if you do all those things, then please scale your Web3 business. It's hugely important. It is not easy. It is a difficult thing to do. But the value is really there. The good thing is that I'm not here to just give unsolicited advice, which would, which would not be a good idea. What we actually do, and what I'm here to talk about, is bringing tools to help you guys and the communities execute on these principles. It is critically important. So I'm very excited, and uh, the team has been hounding me uh, during this, this week the whole time that I don't get super excited when I make announcements. <laughs> I'm an engineer. It's, you know, this is as excited as I can possibly get. <laughs> but it is actually a very exciting thing. So what we want to introduce today, this is our second announcement in the NFT space, is Ledger Enterprise Create. It is relatively straightforward, but it comes with a lot of value. What we wanted to bring to market is a set of tools that allow creators and brands to do these things, right? Crypto treasury management, smart contract ownership, NFT and token portfolio management, and all of that based on a development platform with a set of, uh, with a set of APIs, comprehensive APIs around it. Our primary objective with this suite of products was to create a strong, secure foundation that you guys can build on. Right? That was the primary goal. Now, this is available now. It's running on Ethereum. It'll be available on Polygon in Q3 and more uh, EVM-based networks shortly. That was the exciting part. That was the announcement. The product is out there. It is great. Please talk to us. There's people using us. We can bring more people on board. We can now have clients signing up. The thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about is the hard work that really brought us to that. Like This did not happen today, yesterday. This was a year in the making, if not more. So just you know, last year, Ledger opened. Uh, there were some incredible uh, panels on NFTs. And in the morning, I was sitting there. I was taking notes. And I think Dauda is uh, in, the, in the audience somewhere. He was running a panel with uh, Lady Phoenix. And I, he had an incredible analogy. He said that the NFT space is like giving an artist keys to their own factory. So I was sitting there in the audience. And I was chatting, chatting down notes. I was like, OK, well, what if that artist is hugely successful, starts to build their brand, needs multiple factories, needs to start to manage the staff, builds a community, millions of followers, millions of fans, starts to distribute value to that community, that is an incredible responsibility. So my takeaway from that is like, we need to build tools for that creator to help them scale and to help the whole community scale. And that was really the genesis of what we wanted to do. This was amazing announcements today, a lot of talk, a lot of conversations, but you know, talk can be cheap. And security is hard. So what I wanted to do is give you guys an engineer's perspective to synthesize a lot of the announcements that happened today. So market, amazing. Ledger Enterprise creates great set of product, great set of tools. But the fundamental principle, the fundamental takeaway from all of the announcements today, that if you're coming into the NFT space, if you're new to the space, if you're launching a new NFT project, if you're a brand that wants to participate, there's only one way to do NFTs right today. One way. And, and the way to do it is you start with a ledger, and it stays on a ledger. And what we've shown today is that end-to-end -end life cycle, starting points, creation, ownership on the retail side, and the delivery mechanism to be able to support that.
So it was mentioned a little bit earlier today, this is Ledger, right? Don't trust, verify, come find us, ask us about the demo, we'll be more than happy to show you the product. We're excited to talk to you, we're excited to show you what we've been able to build, and even more so, we're excited to build together. Nice well talk. done, man. Here you go. Uh, I don't need it, but okay, cool. So for both of you, well, actually, you probably don't know Alex, but that was excited Alex. It's like top of his energy right now. Um, and he's absolutely right to be excited. That's huge. Like Ledger is the most secure platform end-to-end, -end, period. And we, I mean, we've seen it with, um, with, I mean, you already know that from an end user perspective, it's also the case, uh, security at scale for enterprises. So I'm going to take a bit of a sidestep. We're going to talk about privacy. And to talk about privacy, uh, I'm going to welcome on stage our privacy maximalist. In fact, he's so passionate about his privacy that he actually uses an alias when he's at Starbucks ordering a coffee, right? And I'm actually not really sure that his first name is really Charles. So our CTO of Ledger, Charles Guillemet. Good morning, New York. Good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Guillemet. This is, uh, this is my real name. My name is Charles Guillemet, and I'm CTO at Ledger. My mission is basically to build the technology allowing users to securely manage and use their crypto assets, their crypto digital assets. My background is cryptography and security. And today, I'd like to talk about a slightly different topic, privacy. In our society, we tend to forget that privacy is important. When you use Google, it's free because you are the product. Your data is the product. Actually, it's even worse than that. Web2 companies, social media, have created incentives for us to produce and share data. On the other hand, we have intelligent services who are spending a lot of time, resource, energy, money on spying on people. You have security services who are spying on political opponents, on journalists using powerful hacking tools such as uh, Pegasus. Even our Western security services are spying on people. Snowden's revelation have highlighted that this in fact, is massive. Privacy has never been as challenged as it is today. My friend Mark often tells me, I don't really worry about this invasion in my privacy because I don't have anything to hide. This is so wrong. We all have plenty of stuff to hide. If you think otherwise, I can propose something like, Give me your smartphone, I will install a, a backdoor inside it so that I, I can see everything you do. I e even have a better idea. Just send me all your passwords to this address. I've created it especially for that. Just send me your passwords. <laughs> Privacy matters. It's a matter of freedom. It's also a matter of democracy. And today, we are talking about this Web3 revolution. From a technology perspective, Web3 is enabled by blockchain technology. But current blockchain technology is pseudonymous. If we consider Ethereum blockchain or any account-based blockchain, you have a single account. And to this account, you will associate your ENS, your decentralized identity, with your holdings whether it is your ETH, your stable coins, your NFT, you name it. With Bitcoin, you have this notion of UTXO. UTXO slightly improves privacy. With UTXO, you can generate a new address for every single payment you might send or receive. It slightly improves privacy. Nonetheless, there are companies such as uh, Chain Analysis and Elliptic who have built a strong expertise and powerful tools in order to de-anonymize this uh, uh, slightly improved privacy brought by uh, UTXO technology. 
Current blockchain technology is pseudonymous, and pseudonymity is the level zero for privacy. And it's one off. Once revealed, it's forever. If I'm able to link your address to your identity, I can see everything you did in the past and everything you will do in the future. Also, using crypto leaves tracks. If your crypto are on an exchange, first of all, it's not your crypto. Web3 is a revolution of value. It's a revolution of ownership. We told this several times already today, but self-custody is paramount. If your crypto are on an exchange, when you want to use them, you have to ask the permission to the exchange to use them. Most of the time, it's OK. Sometimes, it's not. Self-custody is paramount. So if your crypto are on an exchange, it's not your crypto, but also you completely give up your privacy. On an exchange, you, you have to do a full KYC, and then the exchange is able to know everything about you. Your identity, your behavior, your IP address, your holdings, everything. But even when you are in self-custody, when you use crypto, you are leaving tracks. Whenever you want to see your balance, your list of transactions, or whenever you connect your wallet to a DAP in order to mint your favorite NFT, you will leave tracks. You will leave your IP address, you will leave your cookies, your user agent, along with your Ethereum address. The backend will uh, be able to get this information, the Web3 provider also, and today the biggest Web3 provider is Infura, and it's a big risk for us as a community. That's why we, Ledger, have decided to launch the Freedom by Design initiative. This is our commitment to users' privacy. First, we are providing a best-in-class self-custody solution. This is our hardware devices. Second, our incentives are not your data. We don't make any money with your data. Your security and your privacy are our priorities. And three, when you use Ledger Live, you have to get your balance, your list of transactions, so you have to connect to our backend. We don't collect your personal data. We don't collect your IP address. This is not what we do. This is not our incentives. But with, with Freedom by Design initiative, you don't even have to trust us. If you are a Bitcoiner, you can run your own node, your, your own Bitcoin node, and you are able to connect Ledger Live directly to your node without relying on us. You don't even have to trust us. And today, I'm very excited, as an engineer, I'm very excited to announce that we are working on integrating Tor within Ledger Live. It's, it's a big one. Tor enables anonymous communication over the internet, so that when you will use Ledger Live through Tor, we won't have even the possibility to identify yourself. Privacy is the missing feature of Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchain. The good news is that there exists some solution. The future of privacy is trustless. It's technologic. And this technology is called zero-knowledge proof. Zero-knowledge proof allows you to prove a property without giving any information about the data in question. That sounds magic, right? I will try to uh, explain a little bit with a metaphor what is uh, zero knowledge proof. You probably know uh, where is Waldo game. This is a game for children where you have to find where Waldo is. I don't know if you find it already, but I'm going to prove you that I know where Waldo is without giving you any information about his location. One second for the, ma for the magic. Here is my protocol. I have this uh, big black um, card, and inside this card there is a hole, which has the, the shape of Waldo, and through this hole we can see Waldo. It's small, but you can trust me for once. There is Waldo. 
And behind the black card, I have the where is Waldo card, just here. Now, what I just did is a zero knowledge proof. I proved you that I know where Waldo is because I was able to put the card in order to match with the hole. So what I just did is a zero knowledge proof of knowledge of Waldo's position. But you still don't have any idea where Waldo is. This is what zero knowledge is about. What, but when it comes to blockchain technology, with zero knowledge, so the, we are using complex cryptography to enable this. And with zero knowledge protocol, what we can do is to prove to a decentralized network, to a decentralized consensus, that our transaction is valid without giving any information about this transaction. This is what the future of privacy looks like. I'd like to conclude with a few highlights. First, privacy matters more than you think. It's a matter of freedom. Privacy doesn't come with current blockchain design, unfortunately. Web3 lacks of privacy, uh, built-in privacy features. The future of privacy is zero knowledge proof, but in the meantime, we, Ledger, commit to users' privacy. We are building tools to empower users with their privacy so that they don't even have to trust us. We already have this Bitcoin node capability, and we are working towards having Tor within Ledger Live. My conclusion is simple. Privacy matters. It's a matter of freedom. Protect your privacy. Thank you. Our morning comes to an end. And to wrap up with all these announcements, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on stage our CXO and CEO, Jan Rogers and Pascal Gauthier. Amazing. Amazing. Great. Um, look, so we're going to wrap this up nice and easy. Uh, we have three things. To, oops, 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 oops. I got you. I got you. Me? This is how we do. Yeah, okay. Teamwork makes. We got uh, so three things to say. I say one, and the end will say two. Just a reminder: um, the Ledger Cate Fund is open. Pascal at Ledger.fr. This is where you where you send me the projects. 110 million seed and Series A. Announcement number one. We told you a lot of things today, but if you only remember these three things, the other two are. If you are launching an NFT project, call us. It's time that communities start demanding that the projects that they invest in have good security, right? And we're gonna push this. So if you're launching a project, if you're a, band, a brand or any kind of a, a project, call us and let's work together on making sure that you launch that securely. Also, if you're a collector, Go right now and sign up for the allow list on Ledger Market. You're going to want to be a part of it. Um, you're going to want to take one of those black on black nanos and, and get kind of an inordinate on ramp into the projects that we have coming and, uh, and go sign up for that allow list right now. And I also just want to give kind of a fake apology for keeping you here for so long. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for, for being with us. But if what you do is you go out there today and you're like, God damn, those Ledger people had so much to say that it took two fucking hours. That's okay with me. So sorry, not sorry. But yeah, you can see you know, why I'm proud to work at this company with these extraordinary people. And, uh, and, and really, I, I hope that, I hope that you, you take away that we're doing a hell of a lot and we're doing it in, in, the, spirit, in, in the right spirit, in the spirit to support the community and to support building something very, very, very big in this world. All right. And the real and final wrap up, Ari and Carl will come back on stage. I'm taking this opportunity to congratulate Ari for organizing all of this. Bravo. <laughs> and all the speakers, you should know that I delegate so much that I learn a lot of stuff today watching my team. Uh, and this is what leaders do, they delegate. So congratulations to, uh, to the team. Ari, Carl, please come back on stage. Let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, right. we did it. <laughs> Ledger Open, thank you again for coming today and spending time with us. I know it's quality time because you probably missed like 15 minutes during the last two hours, so uh, <laughs> blessings for that. Um, but no, honestly, I also want to thank you know, Steven and Eugenie on my team who have spent countless hours the last few months getting this done and many sleepless nights, along with Blandine and Charlie and Susie. Like, people really care about this and they want you to understand it well. So I'll let Carl actually speak to what, what happened today, but I just wanted to also say thank you to the team. Yep, so it doesn't end there. We've got some panels this afternoon. I think this slide should be coming up. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see. So a few panels this afternoon and after that, it doesn't, also doesn't end there. We've got much more coming up. You heard about Market. So it's market.ledger.com. Join the allow list uh, so you get access to our uh, NFT first sale storefront. Yep. There's also Ledger Connect, which we talked about. Um, so that's ledger.com slash connect if you want to try the beta and see for yourself how it feels to be on the web with hardware security uh, typed in. More NFT giveaways uh, next Thursday. Follow us on Twitter to know more about this. And party tonight. Party House tonight. Of X, 9 p.m. Cameron, Alchemist, more. It's going to be wild. That's all I'm going to say. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Saad Haddad. Hi, my name is Katie Rago. Danny Laviaga. Johnny. Danielle. Uh, my name is Matthew Soares. I've been a Ledger user for probably about eight months now. I've been a Ledger user for about eight months now. Two months now. Three months. About a year and a half. The last two months. Since today. I am in the Web3.4 learning. I'm honestly Web3 for the community, and I'm really trying to learn a lot more. Investing, and also I have my own project, so building as well in the space. I entered the space through crypto. I ended up finding NFT, and I just stayed. I started with crypto, and, um, and now I'm kind of into the Web3 space, and now it's kind of like a, a mixture of both. I kind of just buy ETH and let it sit there uh, with the NFTs and more active. A ledger, to me, makes me feel secure. It makes me feel safe. It means somebody's got my back. It makes me feel safe and secure. <laughs> it means safety 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 security and also simplicity it makes me feel secure it makes me feel safe to know that i have my nfts stored on my ledger i recommend everyone to have a ledger absolutely in five to ten years i see ledger as the leader once the brand is there i trust the brand and i'm a fan i'm, I'm excited man i have no idea where it's gonna go but I'm, I'm here for the ride for sure i see ledger at the forefront of security I can see them coming out with some new products and just making the UI a lot easier for people and just bring it to the masses more. So I'm hoping to see more products and maybe more ways to secure uh, NFTs and crypto that we say in this space. I really think it is the future. I am buying Ledger today. Hi, my name is Saad Haddad. Hi, my name is Katie Rago. Danny Laviaga. Johnny. Danielle. Uh, my name is Matthew Soares. I've been a Ledger user for probably about eight months now. I've been a Ledger user for about eight months now. Two months now. Three months. About a year and a half. The last two months. Since today. I am in the Web3.4 learning. I'm honestly Web3 for the community, and I'm really trying to learn a lot more. Investing, and also I have my own project, so building as well in the space. I entered the space through crypto. I ended up finding NFT, and I just stayed. I started with crypto, and, um, and now I'm kind of into the Web3 space, and now it's kind of like a, a mixture of both. I kind of just buy ETH and let it sit there uh, with the NFTs and more active. Uh, Ledger, to me, makes me 